my name is Robin Damore and I painted oil on canvas. I also do some uh, pencil and charcoal on paper. I took my first painting class when I was 45. Um, I have a degree in chemistry uh, and I've always been creative, I would say, but um, when I took that first painting class, it was just a one week class, um, at the end of it, the teacher called me and said, I can't believe you've never painted. You should come and study with me in New York. And so um, I rented a little apartment in Soho and went and painted with him for not that long. And he, um, he said, you could, you could start to do commissioned work. It took me a long time to tell anyone that I was an artist. That seemed like something arrogant that was for talented people, not, you know, not for me. I lose track of time and uh, it's very exciting to me. I can, I can, if I'm excited about something, I can go till late at night um, and be up early in the morning and just be very motivated by it. Um, I can also get stuck and um, people often ask me, how long does it take to, to do one of your paintings? And I always say, it just depends on how much I suffer because um, usually to get it right, there's something that's required that I have to get over. There's something I have to learn. And until that happens, uh, it's not finished. So, uh, I, so I'm always learning. Uh, I've been painting for 22 years and uh, still every painting teaches me something. So I feel like I'm continuing to get better. There's a, a way in portraiture that you can, you know, I've seen a lot of portrait artists who can, um, they can get a likeness. You know, it kind of looks like the person, but spiritually the person is absent in the painting. And for me, a painting is not done until I'm spiritually connected to it. So there's like a little bit of magic that has to happen at some place in the creation of the painting. And until that happens, then it's not done. So that can be the most challenging thing, is to get to a place where I feel like, oh, okay, now I recognize them, uh, they're, they're here with us, this makes sense to me. Usually people are not commissioning paintings of themselves. They're often, it's someone they love. And I hope that, that the painting gives them a moment in time that captures that person and delights them. I just look at work that I did five years ago versus work that I'm doing today and I see a dramatic improvement in the work. There's a much more um, subtlety. I'm able to see, um, I teach portraiture, I teach workshops and I'm, I'm always saying to my students, uh, the more you see, the more you see. And so what that means is that things that, you know, perhaps were a revelation that you would see initially are something that you can see every time you're painting and then there's something new, um, a shift in color, uh, a grace of line, those kinds of things that, um, uh, that I feel like I'm better at seeing now. And, um, and when I do the show, I paint every day, uh, so for 70 days, and I am so good at seeing by the end of the show. It's been such a lovely experience because all of the artists, I, there's a hundred artists here and there's no one that I'm not really attracted to as people. You know, everybody, there's a, it's a love fest, you know? I mean, it really is a, a such a special group of people and they have become really, really good friends of mine. I feel really fortunate.